victory for a community doing battle against extra long trucks. Residents were the last to know when their suburban road was suddenly designated a major truck route. CBS2 demanded answers, and now a Long Island town has voted to go back to the way it was. But as CBS2's Carolyn Gossoff reports, does it come too late? Blindsided by big trucks disturbing their peace. Residents of Syosset, Hicksville, Plainview, and Bethpage united to put the brakes on. These things are monsters. All of a sudden, here they come. It's dangerous. It really is dangerous. <laughs> it shakes the whole neighborhood. Enormous tractor trailers, tandem trucks, 65 foot car carriers inundating South Oyster Bay Road. Their three mile main drag suddenly morphed into a regional access highway. We were the last to know. We found this out on our own and brought it to our own councilwoman and legislature. Later. Because no one had really ever dealt with an access highway before, it unfortunately slipped through the cracks. Oyster Bay Town officials say they missed the only letter the New York State Department of Transportation sent, giving local governments just 30 days to weigh in on the change, which was requested by FedEx building a new hub at the Grumman site in Bethpage. But Tuesday night, a town attempt to undo the designation. It unanimously banned big rigs on South Oyster Bay Road. Our residents know better than anyone what does and doesn't belong on this roadway. We've got moms. This is a mistake. But can they backtrack? The attorney for the Bethpage Business Park says the town ban may have no teeth and could end up detouring giant trucks onto the only alternatives like already congested Route 106 107. Instead of having the straightest route from the Long Island Expressway, trucks will have to go some circuitous routes. The DOT with final say tells CBS2 it will consult an even higher authority, the Federal Highway Administration. Residents say they're now working with the DOT to try to get the town's truck ban to stick. They believe if this can happen here, it can happen anywhere. In Hicksville, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News. And Oyster Bay town officials say their ban will take effect in a few weeks. It remains to be seen whether the state will fight them.